Well, what are your summer travel plans? Sarah Danda, she has some suggestions you are sure to love. So many options, Sarah. Good morning. Hi, good morning. Thanks so much for having me back. Well, we just have a whole list of things to talk about because everybody's thinking about that summer vacay. So what's the top of the list for Memorial Day weekend travel? Yeah, so I, I love that we're even starting talking about Memorial Day weekend because it's really going to be here before we know it. Uh, now, what we see in general for Americans, they tend to stay more domestic, which makes sense. It's a shorter trip, um, but a lot of people are looking for warmer places. So um, some great destinations for people to consider. You've got St. Petersburg in Florida, which is lovely because it's it's pretty historic. Uh, also, Asheville, North Carolina, if you have not been yet, um, definitely a popular destination, a huge food scene there, by the way. And then, of course, there's always Maui in uh, Hawaii. Uh, I was just there actually the last time I was on the show, and they're still, again, welcoming back travelers. So Maui really is a great, great destination, especially if you want to, you know, check off on the list uh, visiting Hawaii. And then those that are on the West Coast, Lake Tahoe, another fantastic destination. They've got a couple new properties there, um, and it's, it's certainly a good time to visit over Memorial Day weekend. I love all of those spots. Tahoe is breathtaking, of course. So let's talk plane tickets. What are the prices? Up, down? Yes. Okay. So this is this is interesting. So while prices might be kind of equivalent, or 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 they might even increase last year, right now they are still lower than pre-pandemic levels. Um, so we're kind of looking at round trip flights within the U.S. are averaging about two hundred and ninety dollars for April, but they're going to be rising over in the next coming months. So May and June are probably going to be about the highest. The average price uh, for a hotel uh, uh, for a plane ticket would be about three hundred and. $15. And then it'll go back down by September. Now, what's interesting, May and June are pricier, where most people might think it might be July or August. But a lot of this is because summer travel demand has sort of shifted a little bit earlier. Uh, a lot of schools, especially in the South, are finishing their summer breaks um, a little bit earlier this year. So people are really trying to get out there as soon as they can to, to celebrate summer. Sounds like fun. So, you know, I love Europe. What about yes. travel to Europe this summer? Okay, so this is interesting as well, too. So right now, uh, prices to Europe are actually a little bit less than what they were last year, which is a good thing because prices last year were very, very high. Yeah. Now, for those that are paying attention, have been paying attention, the Olympics are going to be happening in Paris this summer. Now, right now, up until uh, basically the beginning of July, prices are definitely less than what they were last year, but certainly they will get higher. Um, the average cost right now for a flight to Paris for the summer games is only about $947, which is actually 2% lower than last year. But um, as if you're looking for hotels, the average pricing, especially in Paris, is going to be about $400 a night. So these are things to just keep in mind if you want to go ahead and plan that European vacation. But if you are going to the summer games, a pro tip is to not necessarily fly into Charles de Gaulle, the big airport there in Paris. Try to fly to a different destination, a different big city in Europe, and then you can take the train in. It'll save you a lot of hassle. Well, and train travel is excellent over there. It so e is. easy to do, easy to access. So we still have some time to plan. So what are your tips about planning? Yeah, so, I mean, at, this is what's so great is that we're talking about this. It's currently, you know, just the start of spring, but summer's right around the corner. So definitely by the end of April, I recommend planning your flights and your trips for this summer. This is way, this way you can lock in the best rates. Prices are only going to go up, so definitely do that. But also, if international is not necessarily um, on, in the budget this year, there are so many wonderful places within the United States. So maybe you could do someplace like Cape Cod and Massachusetts. Massachusetts or Wyoming for that really true Americana summer, uh, Bar Harbor, Maine. Um, but if you do want to do an international vacation that maybe not is, is not Europe, um, Osaka, Japan. So add Japan to the list. Lots of great places. Just, <laughs> just, just added it to the list. Thank you as always, Sarah. Thanks so much for having me. And more lifestyles for you right after this message. Please stay with us.